everybody, this is Jake from Longtail Pro, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Weebly versus WordPress. And so, um, thinking if you're watching this video, you're probably about to start a website, maybe your first website, and you're trying to figure out what some of the features are, what some of the benefits are of going with one over the other. Um, and just to let you know, I actually use both um, and have for a number of years. So I have some personal sites that are on WordPress. We use WordPress with Longtail Pro. Uh, I also have some personal sites with Weebly that some that do very well as far as traffic is concerned, and and I like that um, that interface as well. So so I'm a fan of both. Um, and and to be honest, there's no way to do, to declare that one is better than the other. That one's the winner. It all depends on your situation. Um, having used both of them, I will say that the Weebly editor is about as simple as it comes, uh, and, and I'm a big fan of it. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to start here in just a moment, but I will keep things brief. Um, so when I have friends or, or family or whoever that ask me my opinion and they're wanting to start their own website, maybe for a business or an organization or just for fun or whatever, I always tell them to check out Weebly first because it's free and you can be playing around with it and getting an idea for what your site's going to look like within five minutes. Um, WordPress is a little bit more involved and, and WordPress is you know the king of uh, <laughs> content management systems for a reason. I mean most of the, the sites online are, are use WordPress um, and there's a reason for that. So it has a lot going for it. My opinion is though is that if you've never done a site before WordPress won't be nearly as intuitive to you um, when, especially when it comes to getting things up and running figuring out all your settings and all of that. Weebly kind of walks you through it kind of hold your hand as you're getting started. WordPress, you're a little bit more on your own. So the fact that I've used it for a few years, it's like second nature to me and I know where to go for everything. But, you know, somebody who hasn't, you really wouldn't know. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's the honest truth. Uh, but here's a look at Weebly. So after you click on uh, create a new website, I would click on, you know, a site as far as just the purpose. Then you choose a theme. So they have their own themes in here and that's a difference where WordPress there's a ton of third-party developers and, and, and different companies that develop WordPress themes that you can get for free and then some that you can buy and then of course you could hire a designer to do something completely custom so everybody knows WordPress and is familiar with it so there's tons of custom designers and things that you could hire um, um, to do something for you if you get the money and you want to spend the money but um, you know if you can come into Weebly and find a theme that you like, uh, you just click on choose and, and you have some different color palettes and stuff that you can work with. And then once it sets up the site for you, um, it's just going to ask you, and you can start out by doing a subdomain of Weebly. So uh, I'm just going to do something crazy <laughs> that's available. Okay, so you could do whatever.weebly.com and that's free to do. Now, when the time comes, you can add your own domain. So if you already own a domain, you know, www. whatever your site is called. com. You can connect that to Weebly too. Um, that'll just come with a paid account later on down the road. So for getting started and testing it out, you can do a subdomain, and then from here they have different page layouts that you can do, or you can just click on the image, um, the items over on the left, like images and title text, and just drag them over on the page where you want them to go, and you're really starting to create here. So. Again, it doesn't take any prior experience or knowledge to very quickly become comfortable with this. And then you just click in and um, just start typing, you know, and you click on your image and it'll just have a huge button that says upload your own image. Um, so very, very simple. On the other hand, WordPress, again, I, I, I use it all the time, so I don't find it difficult, but it doesn't look as intuitive as, as Weebly. So this is an idea of what a WordPress post editor might look like. There's a lot more options and things. Um, so there's technically a lot more you could do with WordPress. Um, but in here, you know, you would just uh, type your text and you can do some formatting. This might look like, you know, Microsoft Word or something like that. And I could click on add media and then I've got, you know, a library of images that I can use and insert into the post and do some settings there. It's just a whole different experience. And once I was done, I could click on publish and publish that blog post if I wanted to. Um, so that's sort of just the beginning. Uh, th there's a lot to it. Um, hopefully that gives you at least a visual on what the two editors look like and, and a little bit uh, a little bit to get started with. But as I say, you know, 
Weebly is very non-committal in that you could start for free and everything I just showed a moment ago you could go do right now in just a couple of minutes. So at least you could try that out. Um, whereas WordPress, the difference is, is that you do have to have your own hosting in place. You, you have to buy your domain somewhere and all of that. Whereas Weebly is a little bit more of an all-in-one solution. If you pay for Weebly, you're also paying for their hosting and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, again, I, I find it just to be a little bit more streamlined if, if you've never done this before. So that's my take. Um, but to follow up and if you want some more detail, I did write a pretty in-depth post uh, comparing the two. So if you click on the link up in the corner of the video or down in the description, uh, I do more of a full comparison of Weebly versus WordPress and point out some of the things you should be looking for, particularly as it comes to some of your search engine optimization settings and, and things like that. So be sure to check that out and hopefully it'll help you make an informed decision. Have a good one.